Kyoko Flashcards released a very significant update that we need to talk about. Kyoko Flashcards 1.20. Let's find out what's changed. You can now add images to your flashcards. A lot of us requested this feature. Diagrams are a must have for digital flashcards, aren't they? In your card editing window, you now have an image icon on the toolbar. Tap on it to add an image from your photos library. At the moment, we can only add images from photos only. We hope to get more options in the future in case our images are in files, for example. To move your image around, you have to long press it. Besides rearranging your image, there's not much you can do with your images. We're excited to have this feature in Kyoko flashcards, but it certainly needs a bit more work. Let's hope in the future we can crop, resize, and rotate our images. They have added a music style card template for all the musicians and composers out there. In the review mode, you can now use the draft area to write answers down instead of saying them out. For technical subjects, this is very useful. Once you have written your answer, you can check and mark it yourself. Brilliant. Let's hope in the future we can save draft cards and hopefully be able to add them to our decks to iron out sections we still don't quite get yet. If you wanted landscape mode on your iPhone, they've added that as well in this update. This is an exciting update from Kyoko Flashcards. We we'll certainly look forward to seeing more updates from them this year. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.